Welcome to another Short and Sweet, where the reviews and samples are short. But it's very sweet that they shared it with us. This is Calumet 14 year, it's a 96.2 proof, and it comes to us thanks to Tiffany and Jamie. Thank you guys. Yeah, we appreciate it. And we have had this one before. Are you okay? Yep. Um, I can't quite recall our exact thoughts on it, but I do remember being a little iffy on if it was worth it, um, because this one does come with a price tag of $115 for the full bottle. Mm, 115 for, for a the year. sub 100 proofer. They, yeah. also have, they also have a 15 year out there, I know. A lot of people have asked us about our opinions on Calumet, so get mm -hmm. ready, because yep. we're about to give them. <laughs> Now we do know the mash bill. Mm. Of course, this is uh, undisclosed as to who it is sourced from, but the mash bill is 74 corn, 18 rye, 8% malted barley. Mm -hmm. So do your Googling if you I'm really sure. want. It's very sweet. Banana-y. Banana-y. Little banana -y. A little floral, almost like circus peanut marshmallow-y. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh-huh. It's very sweet. Very, yes, it is very sweet. And I know that lower proof, I mean, lower proof, sub 100 proof is not, helping it. Let's taste it. To your health. I beat him to it this time. Ha. Hmm. Ah, I bet I know who it's from. Does taste familiar. I think it's Barton. I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> not that that's the point of this review. It's not, <laughs> but I think it's Barton. <laughs> yeah, lower proof Barton can be sort of banana-y. They definitely source a lot. Not, not as much now, but you know, they have contracts that go through certain time periods. We can only imagine. We don't do their books. Maybe one day. I got more sweetness up front, but more power than I expected coming through, like towards the finish. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect it because of the proof, but then I'm also not surprised because of the age. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a, I got like a tobacco-y whoosh. Yes. I'm gonna yeah. go for my second sip while you talk. Sure, yeah, the, the sweetness kind of dies down and you kind of think it's just being like sort of a short finish, which I mean, it's not a long finish, but really what it's doing is it's transitioning to like those older notes, like, a little bit of tobacco leaf, a little bit of mm. leather. It's not very oaky, but I think there's like some toasted wood notes in there that are more mellow, kind of falling behind the tobacco a bit, uh -huh. but still keeping that age feeling. Well, while we sort of let it sit on the palate here and we think about it, we want to pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get uh, this t-shirt, actually Ooh. both of our t-shirts. I love this one. Uh, the Glen Cairns we're drinking from, but I also have Copitas, Rocks glasses, hoodies, uh, challenge coins, bottle cut candles, and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that is where we release our barrel picks and after the episode exclusives. I'll tell you what, Chad. Yes, I am missing a mouthfeel mm. on this. Sorely missing it. Um, the case of the missing mouthfeel. I don't know if it's because it's been proofed down to 96. I don't think so though, because I think we've had a lot of other things that are a sub 100 proof that still have good mouthfeels. But it is harder to maintain that mouthfeel when you add water, True. so much water. Do you, I find it very drying. While we were doing our little plugs, I was like, my mouth is a desert and I need <laughs> some desert. water. Can I make it through this without stumbling because my tongue feels like sandpaper? Yeah, it is a little dry. I do think it is probably because of age, but I also, for me, going to the, to the water a little quicker is because of that banana note, which is never my favorite. Not your fave. It's just never been. I can see how this whiskey is gonna be for a lot of people because they like that flavor profile. And then I can see how it's it's not gonna be for a lot of people because of that same flavor profile. I'm more on the, not the flavor profile I was looking for type of spectrum. Yeah, for me, it goes from that like sweet, almost banana-y note to that tobacco and dried wood. And then on the finish, it's just kind of bitter. And the whole time I'm getting that like, dry mouthfeel, which I'm being very critical of it right now because I know it's $115. Right, um, it deserves the criticism. Even if this was blind, I s would still have the same feelings about what was in the glass. For those reasons, I think I would say I would pass on a bottle. As they do more releases, I think it's something that's worth keeping up with. If they are sourcing it, the next batch that they source might not have those characteristics. So I think there's some great stuff in here, mm -hmm. potential wise, but not the best this value. Isn't the best, not the best value, and not the best batch. I guess. <laughs> I feel like we could do better. <laughs> we're not mad. We're just disappointed. Mad, I feel like we could do better. I see the potential. But thank you to Tiffany and Jamie for sharing the sample with us, Absolutely. so that we could 
put our opinion out there. That's where we'll leave it. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. We'll see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Tiffany and Jamie. Until next time, drink more bourbon. Thank you.